Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Radash. And double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations, you I came out there that's pushing this world in truth and sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. Abu Rakazai, you I came out there will be edified. And with that, we get straight into it. This is Psalm chapter 75, verse 10. All the horns of the wicked also what I cut off. Now horn represents power. It says, all the horns of the all the power of the wicked also what I cut off. Who is the wicked? Esau being the wicked, pursuing the Job 9.24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Who is ruling the earth right now? Esau, the so-called white man. Malachi, the first chapter, the fourth verse, proves that Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked man. So the Most High, which is Yahweh, and the Son being Yahweh Shah, is going to cut off the horns of the wicked. Man. It says, it says, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Who's the the power of the righteous? Who's the righteous? You got three classifications of people. You got the sons of the righteous, which are the Israelites, which is unique. Most the Spanish, Native Americans, on down to you Mexicans, which is Issachar. Then you got. The sons of men, which is the rest of the nations. Then you got the sons of the wicked, which is Esau. So it says, it says, but the horns, the power of the righteous, shall be exalted. The righteous is like I said, is the Israelites, man. Started with the the um 144,000 or one third. That's the horns of the righteous, man, on this side right now. But ultimately, all Israel's gonna be saved. But right now we're dealing with the 144,000 because two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, y'all ain't right in the spirit, man. So it was, um, you know, so, um, I'm going to go to, right now I'm going to go to another scripture, another precept. This is going to be Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. And it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Who are the saints of the Most High? The saints of the Most High, first and foremost, are the sons of Israel, man. I'm going to prove that real quick. This is Proverbs chapter, no, Slacker, this is Psalms chapter, um, uh, 148. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 14. He also exalted the horn, the power of his people. Who's the Most High's people? The praise of all his saints even of the children of Israel, which should be sons, even of the sons of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. I'm going to read it again so it can sink in. He also exalted, like it says in um, Psalms 17, verse 10, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. The horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Back in Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horns of his people. Who is the most high's people? The sons of Israel. Even all his saints, even of the sons of Israel, are people kneeling to him. Praise ye the Lord, man. Proving that the sons of Israel are you Negro to Spanish Native Americans, the saints, man. You see what I'm saying? Because it says in Daniel chapter 7, verse 18, it says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Who's the saints? Even of the children of Israel. We'll get it again real quick. The saints of the Most High are the sons of Israel, man. That's straight to the point, man. You can't refute it. You can't deny it, man. Because it says it right in the scriptures. Psalms chapter 148, verse 18. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Our people near unto him, praise ye the Lord, man. So who are the saints of the Most High, the sons of Israel, man? Like it says in Daniel. It says, Daniel 7 and 18, but the saints of the Lord, it's like, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. And there's no refuting that, man. Once Yahweh shall crack them skies and bring death, destruction, and deliverance, Death and destruction to Esau, two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and also destruction to the rest of the nations, man. He's gonna bring deliverance 
the three Ds, death, destruction, and deliverance. He's going to bring deliverance to 144,000, the elect of the sons of Israel, man. And deliver them out of this hellhole, out of this cesspit, man. Out of this cesspool of wickedness, man, which they call America. The saints of the Mosai are the sons of Israel, starting with the elect of the 144,000. You know? And we're going to rule with Yahweh Shah, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shah forever and ever and ever. From eon after eon after eon after eon, man. So with that, Obu Akim was edified. This is a great millstone to the point. First and foremost, you know, I'm going to give all praises once again to Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah for bestowing this knowledge upon me. And like I said, it's a, it's a um, great millstone to the point. Shalom Akim.